Well, Fresh Baked, we've made it to the top of the Mickey and Friends parking structure, and uh, we're just kind of sitting here like, not a lot has happened since last week. Not a whole lot. I, I can, not to my eye, anyway, at least not from this view. Yeah. I know there's something happening over there by Hungry Bear, which we'll get to in a minute, but the only, I don't, it looks almost the same as it did last week. And one thing we noticed was that the uh, fantastic storage appears to be getting closed off or another wall being built in. Well, the, the entrance to it. The entrance, the though, is going to be on the other side. The entrance will be on the uh, on the water side, the, the, the river side, as opposed to the side facing us. So that makes sense that they're closing that off. But that's still just, that's just a mess of walls and roofs and, and structure here and there and everywhere. Not a lot of it, not a lot of new activity going on there with the fort. The rocks are still on top. Uh, I don't see a lot of you know stuff going on in that area, but I can tell the wall is about the same as it was last week. They don't seem to be, uh, or didn't seem to do any additions to that. Although it does look like the 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 island side wall is a little bit has been grown a little bit, perhaps I think. Ian, you know what I've seen a lot of everywhere. Well, besides that, I see forms everywhere. Oh, like there's just stacks and stacks of them. There's some there. Yeah. There's some over here. I wonder if I mean, if or there. Used ones that right. That's what I was going to ask you. How can you? Can we tell if these are going to be or used to be? It's entirely possible that some get reused. Yeah. I just. I, I don't to make this. You know, this morning we were up here because we always check to see if we can get a, a view and you can get a little more perspective about what's happening over here by the pool. They're digging up, oh, yeah. or they, they put dirt there. Remember last week, or two weeks ago, we could, it was impossibly smooth, it was flat. Like yes. they were just getting ready and then we're back with, you know, random piles of dirt. What? Hey, look, there's a muffin in that car right there, hey! <laughs> That's a first. Okay, we got a fresh bake from the street. While we're doing a Star Wars land How's update, that for a street team? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there's sort of a purpose because they're, they're they're angular in the way that they're placed, like it's yeah. got a design. Those those dirt piles that are there now, it's as if they're planning to do something with that. If they if it was random, it would just be piles yeah. of dirt, right? Yeah. So there's that. I was told that you could tell that they're getting ready to do something back here along this service road by Mount Spielberg, but I don't see anything. No, I don't. Think so. Maybe we're in the wrong spot for that. Our view here, maybe I mean, it's not as good. The idea is that eventually the service road will come down along here anyway. Yeah. And they're not gonna tear that up until this is done. Now, last week we were down here again, uh, right where that open area is right there. Yeah, try to get a look. Well, you, the perspective is terrible. Yeah. There, there is no perspective, but you get to see the dirt up close and other stuff, but they're digging something right here on this tree line that you can't see. There was something that was trenched out there, and, like it had shoring on it. It's probably whoever fight for that access road. Yeah, could be. Well, yeah, it looked like it could be a foundation or something for a road, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. They still have to have an access road. Yeah. They have to have one. But yeah, I'm not. It just. I mean, it looks kind of the same. The the pool doesn't look any bigger than it did last week, right? No, not particularly. Let's get in there a little bit. And you figure, you figure these areas are more for access than actual intended per, uh, you know, like... The ones closer to us without yeah. the shoring? Without the shoring, yeah. Until shoring shows up, yes. If Especially because it's kind of got that slanted... If shoring does show up later, yeah. then no. It seems, like, it seems like we should have more being built here, considering the size of the attraction, I would think. But maybe not all of the attraction requires yeah. such extensive... Uh, substructure. Yeah. All right. So we moved to our Hungry Bear locale, our, our viewing point from the, for the Hungry Bear area. And one thing that I have noticed, Ian, yes, is those I beams are not where they used to be. Nope. They, but they, they appear to have moved. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and it looks like they're right there now. They have they, they're alongside. They're running along the length of the Hungry Bear now, the lower level. Is that what I'm looking at? I think so. Sorry, guys. There we go. Um, that a train is moving. Now, yeah, I was just going to ask you, what is that thing? It's a very different than the other crane. It looks like the kind of thing that you'd use to drill for oil or something, right? Like you, because there's a thing that it drops down from the top. Yeah. 
What is that? So construction lights, tell me what that is and what they're doing with it. I'd love to know. There's all kinds of stuff going. They're, they're getting ready to do something major right there. Because the thing is, is that, is that this has to be done. The the Tom Sawyer, I mean the 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 Hungry Bear Path. Anything along the river has to. Anything be done. right? Anything on that side of the river has got to be done fast. Yeah. And if they're, if they're getting ready for a for a summer 2017 for the river. Yeah. That's why they're taking advantage of having Fair Country closed on weekdays yeah. and only open on weekdays from 11 to 5, so they can work back there without guests around. So yeah, we're gonna see a lot of movement here, a lot of activity in that section of the park, that, as well as you know running along the length of of the tr of the river path there. You know, last week actually, by the way, I had asked you, and yes. we never we never talk about this for some reason. We never talk about. We always want to know where the train is going, right, and where the river is. Yeah. One thing we never talk about is where's the tunnel. Where do you think the tunnel is going to be? Because we know that there's going to be a tunnel. It's going to be back that way between the Fantasyland ent entrance and Toontown. The f okay, so okay, I'm zooming in on Fantasyland entrance. Okay, so, so that's to wait. The left of it. Yeah, there we go. Right third of your frame Pretty now. Much where the first wall we saw would go up was. The far there. wall? Yeah. Around there. Let me, why do you think they built that far wall first? Uh, because they want to, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just curious. But yeah. Because it doesn't seem like much has been done since then around it, but they put it up first. But anyway, so you figure right about where the far wall is. Yeah. And then running that length until it gets, until it gets to Toontown, basically. Yeah. That doesn't seem very long. I felt like that, that tunnel no, was, was going to be longer. No, but I don't see where else they can fit, fit a tunnel-like structure. Everywhere else is fairly exposed. Right, because I was thinking maybe it might... Because we were, we were always thinking about where was, where was it going to go in terms of these, you know, the tunnels for, um, you know, the, the Fantasyland and, and, and Frontierland entrances. Mm -hmm. Maybe it doesn't have to, you know, I thought maybe the tunnel might be involved in those areas somehow. But you're like right, that doesn't make any sense because... Yeah. I feel like we'd see more concrete yeah. going up even higher in between them. Yeah. Right? Uh, and then, yes, earlier today we were at Toontown. Let's give us some perspective there. We can't really see where it is, but when we looked back, you could see... Actually, we can't see Toontown now because it's through those palm trees. Uh, on the other side of those palm trees. But when you looked back at the first lift hill, you looked back, you said you could see exactly where the um, see a space where the train was gonna go. Walls and those where I think the train has to go. And those concrete walls are the ones that are next to the left of the far wall, is that yes. right? So there's you can't really tell because the our perspective is so twisted from back here, but there are two walls. Yes. Way in the back there. There are two walls. I'm gonna try to zoom in and make those walls center. There's that wall, that concrete wall there, and there's another one behind it. And you're saying it's going to be in between those two walls. Yes. That's neat. I think so. That is neat. And then in between, in between that far wall, or I mean the, the nearer of those two walls, I should say, and the, uh, the, the, the I-beam or H-pile range that they're building there is just going to be buffer. That's just going to be... What? You know, uh, what do you call it? Um, landscaping. Landscaping, yeah, right. Because you can't put anything else. And that unless it's space being reserved for something in the future. Yeah. Because that's a sizable, decent little piece of land. It could be used in the future, even if not. Well you think so? I think it could be. If someday Toontown does get co-opted for a fantasy land expansion, yeah. I could see that piece of land being used as well. All right. And you would just get to it through you know, where the Toontown currently is. Yeah. Well, I think that does it. This, there's not a lot. There's not a lot to report on this week, actually. I was surprised because I was expecting, because the way I, the way people have been uh, talking about what was going on here, that you could see a lot more. But I don't. I don't really see much no, different than. They said you could actually. They said you you would be able to see uh, a path being worked on here at the at the Hunger Bear side, but I don't see a path. Do you Not see a path? This angle. When I, uh, last Sunday, when we were done, you know, I went and got lunch. And I took, tried to try to take a picture through the, yeah. you know, the scrim. Yeah. I can see them putting up like some little, little wood walls. Oh, that's right. It was you that said that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. 
So they were doing something, but I, don't, I, don't, I think part of the Hungry Bear's like back section blocks it from us. Really, you think so? So we can't see it. If I get back in there before five, I'll see if I can't take a oh, look right. at well, another picture, gonna but pro it probably won't. But All right. it looks like they are starting to do something. So the, 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 the thing I want to take from this is that I want to know what that thing is. I want to know what that thing is and what it does. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Star Wars Land updates from the Knothole Gang, or maybe our Secrets and History videos. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign or by buying a Fresh Bake t-shirt. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Baked!